What is up everyone? We are here with some Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. Um, I want to show off this new um, all physical uh, ability boost. Uh, it's been shown a lot in um, co-op and it's like stupid broken in co-op. Especially when you have like, you know, two people packing both weapons that are like OB-10. Like, there are people that are doing, like, over, like, 200k damage. It's ridiculous. So, um, how does that then transition to us in solo, right? Um, so I want to kind of show that today. I want to kind of look at numbers, kind of, uh, show how that all works. Um, and kind of make that determination. Do, uh, you know, do we think that this is useful in, in solo? Okay. So remember guys, if you do like what you see, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe, if you're not already, that'd be great. And let's hop into it. So I've got a team built here um, of ice and water. We got Tifa, we got Zach. So Tifa here, i uh, just going to kind of show off some stats here. So uh, the main thing I would definitely want to focus on here for Tifa is her P attack. Okay. So where she's at right now, she's at 3,026. Look at Zach here. Uh, now, Zach does not have the the weapon on yet. We will get it here soon. But Zach is sitting at a 2679. And we'll just look at Aerith just for the hay of it. So we have Aerith here at 1521. All right. Um, now, the weapon I specifically have, Zach, I'm going to switch out is this prototype Crimson. Uh, the reason we'll switch this one out is because um, it on its own has 214 attack and it boosts attack that boost of attack so that eight or four uh is not to put me up to one which is going to boost my fire damage ability by six wrong one sorry here by eight there we are um boost my attack by five percent cool um if i were to switch this over to the that was from the stream slasher Water potency uh, does go up. That's something to note. But again, we're gonna get this ten percent here. We're gonna we're gonna look at how that uh, compares across as well. But let's before we do that, let's just keep it with a prototype crimson blade. Let's look at damage. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna run the uh, which one is this? Knights of Judgment seven. Uh, we're going to look at how much damage Zach is doing Antifa uh, in this. So let's hop in. I'm going to keep it on the times nine just because I, I need the exchange items. We will slow things down so we can kind of look at numbers. All right, so... Fire blow, need water blow here. Basically, everything that everybody's using is for stat purposes when it comes to their uh, materia. Let's take out the slash phantom imager. Perfect. All right, so we're going to look at some damage numbers here. So let's keep in mind, this is going to, I do have Zach's uh, physical uh, down as well as his water uh, elemental down. So we're going to cast that. And we also want to see how much uh, you know, Tifa's doing damage wise here too. All right. So with that on there, Zach is doing 16,754 damage. Let's do another hit there just to double check. So there's 17,005. So that gives us an idea. Let's switch over to Tifa here. So with her thing here, we got 25,469. Let's do one more. Oh, we're going to get hit here because I'm too busy trying to crunch numbers instead of watching. And then 25,488. It's like so on average Tifa's doing about 25,000 damage 25,400 500 damage 
Uh, Zach is doing, let's just say, let's call it 16,900. All right, 16,900 damage. That's in their current states. So now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna compare some stats, and then we're gonna look at damage again with the uh, uh, the new weapon. Okay. Um, all I have is just the five star version of the one. I do not have clouds. I just have glens right now. And again, it's just it's just uh, base stats. Um, I could up this to to level 90 but all it's going to do is raise the water potency on it which I really don't care about uh, but now when we compare stats so if we're going to look at stats Zach has gone from 2679 to 2785 and again this item when you look at just basic P attack as 218 compared to the crimson which had 214 so we're only gaining 4 P attack from that the rest is just the straight boost and yet we lost all that um, the regular attack. This is coming just straight off P attack. Okay. Now, if we look over at Era or uh, Tifa, Tifa has gone from three thousand twenty-six to three thousand two hundred and fifty-three. And again, I changed nothing about her. That is just that you can see she's getting the boost P attack all for all allies from Zach. She is getting a ten percent boost. And even Aerith is technically getting the boost. She went up to 16.95. So let's see what this does in the realm of damage. Uh, more interested in Tifa's damage versus Zach's only because, um, you know, he got a little bit more with the water boost because he did jump from four to five. But let's see what happens here. All right, so we're still doing the same. Uh, Knights of Judgment 4. It's... Uh, Drink some more pots here. Cool. Let's do this. And let's, let's compare numbers. Again, I'm curious to see what's happening here. And again, again, this is just with a base five star weapon. Um, you know, what, what have I sacrificed to do this? HP. I got that back via materia, though. So while, yeah, I sacrificed HP as our abilities, I mean, I, I gained quite a bit back in materia. As long as you're building your materia, in theory, you should be able to sacrifice in our ability. Unless you're going something that just hits like a truck. Alright, I'm gonna try to let Tifa kill this one so we can hopefully, uh... There we go. So hopefully hold on to as much of our ATB as possible for the start of this battle. The sooner we can get some numbers in, the better. And I'd like to try to get two hits off with Zach um, before I move on to Tifa here. Let's fill up just a tiny bit more. Okay. Alright, so our first hit. Then 17294. I need Tifa to attack again, please. I just want to be a little more clear on this. 17504. Alright, so now we're going to go over to Tifa. We can see her first one here. She does... 27,999. And... 20,4... 7,4,7,7. If I looked at that right. twenty-seven-six-six-one. Now keep in mind, this is just base 5-star version of this weapon. So obviously if I were to, you know, overboost this, um, that's going to start making some effects. So right now, let's go back into it. So let's, let's, just, let's just compare numbers for a second. So... In the grand scheme of things, when we look at numbers, so like I said, Zach was doing about, we're going to call it like 16, we'll call it 16.85. Um, the first time, I think I said 16.9, but 16.85 is a little closer, 16.875 really. Um, you know, and then he jumped up to, on average, 17.4. So 600 points of damage more per hit. So 
that one is kind of negligible when we look at Tifa. Tifa is the one who really got the big, uh, a bigger increase when it came to this. So she went from 2004, you know, 2004.75 on average, 25,700, wow, 25,475 to, I mean, she was doing on average about 27,000. 700 so over 2,000 more hit with just the addition of that one weapon and that was on Zach so in theory in theory you know if I took off some of Aerith's heal and well let's, you know, let's test let's test this theory hang on let's test this we're gonna give her this all right now we're going to go back to zach and we're going to give him i want something with water potency and attack hopefully i don't know if i can make that happen i've already got the the one weapon there that's hp it does boost his attack a lot higher yeah it's kind of the highest one there what's going to do our ability wise not enough to really move so let's do this let's let's bump his physical attack then yeah, this physical attack is already maxed so what if we were to boost an attack let's do that um there it is we'll boost attack and we'll do like this guy so that's going to put him up to 3070 All right, now again, if we were to compare numbers, so let's let's just see. We would need to take this off. Let's replace it back with the Choco Staff. So we already know what Aerith should be, or we already know what Tifa should be doing damage die, damage wise. So Zach is now going to be at twenty eight fifty three. Um, and again, with having that 8% or 5% attack there. So let's see how much damage Zach's going to be doing here. And we'll run out one more with Aerith carrying the, uh, slash streamer or it's called. And we'll see again, we'll look at kind of Zach's. We're going to focus specifically on Zach's because we already know what Tifa's going to be doing here. Because Tifa's will bounce just like to what it was before we did that. Again, I kind of like these numbers games. This is kind of interesting stuff. I, I've always enjoyed looking at numbers. Let Tifa take this thing out, maybe. There we go. Yeah. This all allows Zack to go ahead and get his attacks in. Again, I'm looking at curious about numbers before and after. So this is the 2853. So he's doing 18, 2, 7, 5. Do another hit here. 17, 8, 7, 1. Let's do one more here. 18, 0, 9, 6. So he's doing roughly about 18,000 damage at this point. Roughly. That was a 17.7 maybe at the end there. So yeah, he's averaging about around 18,000 roughly. Maybe slightly under. Alright, so now if we switch over Aerith from the Choco Heal Staff to the 
a stream slasher. Let's do that. And let's compare numbers again. Because again, in theory, if you're killing things faster, you don't need as much HP. In theory. So that's going to boost his P attack up to 3,070. So now he's he's still not, he's packing more than Aerith did or Tifa did without the one weapon, but he's still less than she is now, right? Yeah, she's still at 3,253. That has not changed. Great. So let's see what this does. I like to do my stamina's in groups of three, just because uh, that's how they, um, for the most part, 99% of the time, group together in the uh, in the reward stab. Habit of mine. So yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, just because we are running these numbers. And again, this gives you guys a, a chance to kind of scrutinize the numbers too. If you feel like I mathed wrong, did something wrong, uh, you know, this gives you a chance to kind of see where I came from to do that. And like I said, if you feel like I did something wrong, you could point out where it was wrong. I don't claim to know everything. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll let Tifa kill him out. Okay, so again, looking at some numbers here. If we can get, should be able to get at least three numbers out of this. Oh, I did the wrong thing for scrap. It's 12,000 without the boost. Oops. All right, now here we go. So 19,482 is what I saw. Let Tifa's hit go in first. 19,149. 19,398. So it looks like we're averaging around 19.4 or 19.3. So if that's the case, uh, so we were averaging around, let's just call it 18,000 the last one, and then 19.3 this time. So again, that's a that's a. 1300 damage increase um again yeah now i'm not looking at how much time it took to kill him and we could compare that to where he was getting his attack off uh in the first one he did get that main attack off first in the second one he did not the third one he did not the fourth one he did not um and that's making that change of adding that one weapon so i did kill him faster you know in theory i'm taking less damage so having the less heal on Aerith is, you know, not as big of a deal. So, and that's just with the one weapon, okay? Uh, you know, if I had had clouds, let's say I'm able to get clouds to the five star. Uh, again, that's going to add another 24, at least it should. So that just that's going to put us at 24 across the board. I mean, 24 across the board is going to give us 14%, so close to that one. Um, if I were to OB1 one, one of these, if I were able to, that's going to put one up to 26. So yeah, 26, 24 would be 50, uh, which then puts me at that 25 breakpoint. That's another 8% damage on everyone. Um, eight, oh, sorry, 8% 8 uh, phys more eight percent more physical attack. Uh, I mean, in, if in theory, almost doubling what I originally had. Yes, 20% would be doubling, I know. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, we're looking at, you know, before it increased, you know, Aerith, she got that, or Tifa got that, uh, got a boost of 253, or 230, 227, so, I mean, she's going to get almost another 200 on that. So she'd be sitting at 34, almost 3,500. Zach would go up to... 
So from this one here, so he went from 28.53 to 3,070, so he gained 150. So I mean, he's going to gain another, what called 125, 100? So I mean, that put him at, you know, 30, almost 3,200. So yeah, I mean, I do feel like these are worth it. Um, again, obviously, if you were to, let's you know, get it here, you know, that's freaking god tier at that point, because she had two of them, so, you know, if you were to get that up to 40, I mean, you're increasing attack by 22%. And that's assuming you don't have somebody main-handing this. They were main-handing this, and then, you know, the other person's, you know, not main-handing, it puts it up to 60, you've maxed out 28% added on top. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's a lot. So... Are these beneficial in solo battle? Um, based on just the event, I would say yes. Now this is all the this is all the testing I've done, guys. I haven't taken this in like into summon battles or into the battle tower or anything like that. But based on what I'm seeing here in this event, I would say that yeah, these weapons are definitely worth it uh, in solo. Again, as broken as they are in co-op, no. Because again, you have two people bringing in two ob tinned ones. Holy crap! Like you are. Just wiping the floor. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. What do you think of my numbers? Do you think... Do you think my numbers are accurate that I gave? Do you feel like uh, they are uh, worth it at that point? And here, I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to do a quick little pause in the video. I'm going to throw up the numbers just so you guys can get, get an accurate... Uh, look at what I was talking about here. All right, so again, here's a breakdown of all the stats, guys, uh, so you don't have to remember everything I was saying. So again, this, these are kind of cross comparisons right here. So we have, again, this was the damage that Tifa was doing with nobody having the Stream Slasher, what Zack was doing without anybody having the Stream Slasher, again, comparing P attacks there. With the Stream Slasher, that's what their P attacks went up to. Here's how much damage they were doing. So again, you can look and see what the increase here. Uh, and then we switched that again, that stream slasher over to Aerith and then gave Zach a P or an attack boost weapon because his P attack was already maxed. Uh, so without Aerith having the stream slasher, um, again, this was where Zach was at with damage. And again, in comparison to, uh, you know, his original numbers doing about a thousand more than what he was. And then we slapped on the stream slasher to Aerith. And, you know, he jumped up, a, you know, almost 12,000 in damage. Um, anywhere between, a, you know, 1,000 to 12,000, or 1,200, 1,000 to 1,200, sorry, in damage. Um, but again, comparing that back to where he was before, working at almost 2,000 gained. So, again, is, you know, doing 2,000 more damage a hit over time, uh, you know, that's, that's definitely going to be beneficial. So, again, in my opinion... I think these weapons are are good. I think they're great. I it definitely would uh, help if I had clouds. And honestly, what I would do at this point is I would probably give uh, Zach one of clouds in this, or give Zach clouds weapon in the sense. Keep Aerith with uh, a Glens, or maybe switch the two. You know, regardless, Zach would get one. Zach would get Glens because of the water boost. Um, you know, in theory, I could even maybe give clouds to, uh, to Tifa because I could switch this out because it does have that ice boost. Um, I mean, her P attacks already maxed, but I could maybe even switch it out for this guy right here. So she's getting even more ice boost plus the P attack. Um, so that would probably help her. Now she's going to lose some P attack in general just because of how much this thing has. But again, overall, that's kind of how I could balance that out. Um, to, to make that work so yeah I, I think these are good weapons are they broken in solo no I mean you're not going to go in in one shot you know EX2 Bahamut uh, but are they useful yes um, again I, in co-op so, uh, co they're, they're game breaking if, if you, you pair them up right with other people 
but in solo, um, not game breaking, but again, beneficial. I think they do have a really good use here. Um, so hopefully you feel the same way. I'm going to once again kind of throw the numbers back up there. So, uh, like I said, look at those. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you think this is an accurate representation um, of what these could do? Uh, again, that's just with one. So, uh, let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments, guys. Do you feel, based off of what I've shown here, that these weapons are worth it? You know, are they are they good at least? Again, I'm not saying are they game breaking for solo. Are they good for solo? Um, I mean, or do you think they are game breaking, or not? You know, l let me know down in the comments. For me, um, I think it was definitely worth it. I would like to get clouds up to that five star. Uh, I think having those at five stars are going to be a, a real good thing. I'm assuming the ones we're going to get from Zack and Sephiroth are going to be magic attack boost all. And again, I would assume it's going to have the same effect if these P attack ones did. So we're going to call it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, if you do like what you see, if you'd like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.